Okay, now before we fix the uh, roof life loads, we're going to see this thing, which is one story, all stories, and similar stories in action, because there are three similar stories. So the eighth floor, let me just give you the elevation view. Okay. Okay. So the eighth story, seventh story, and sixth story, these three stories are going to be our similar stories. So whatever is happening on the eighth story, same thing is going to be happening on the seventh story and the sixth story. So uh, the similar story only, is only in terms of geometry, not in terms of loading or anything else. So we're just going to make them similar stories uh, for editing out the geometry and then they're going to be individual stories. Because uh, the eighth story is the roof story, so the live load and whatnot should not be the same. Okay, so uh, to do that, what we can do is we are going to go to the plan view, and from the plan view, we're going to go up, or we can do a right click. Let me just first bring the 3D here. Go to right click, and from here, we're going to go to let's see where the story data is. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll just go to the add and modify grids. From here, we can see the modify show story data. We go there, and here you can see that master story. It says each story is master story. And similar to all the other stories, are showing that it's going to be similar to the eighth story, which is not going to be the same. Not going to be the case for the seventh and sixth, it's true, but for others, it's not going to be true. So I'm just going to turn them into none. 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 Okay. Yeah. So what happens is when I've done this, uh, this will not automatically implement any changes. What it's just going to do is when I choose here from one story to similar stories and work on the story 8, then the other stories that have the similar to 8 story option turned on, they will be edited as well altogether so that you don't have to do it repetitively. Okay. So now we click OK and then click on OK again. Now we're going to go to the top story, story 8. So we're on the 8th story. Now we're going to change this one story option to similar stories. Okay, now we're going to do the deleting. So we're going to delete this slabs, select them, and then press the delete button. And we have deleted them. Now we're going to delete this column, this column, and this beams. So remember that since we have done similar stories, you can see that I have only deleted these slabs on the eighth story. But if you look at the 3D view, you can see that the, because of the similar stories, all the slabs on the sixth and seventh stories have also been deleted as well. Okay, and the fun thing is if you want to delete the column, you can now just do a simple mouse click and then press the delete button, it will not work. To delete a column, you have to do a drag like that and that's the only way you can select a column and then delete it. Now since we're deleting the beams as well as the columns, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a drag like that. There we go, it's perfect. Everything is selected. Now I press on the delete button and now they have been deleted. Now again, I change from similar stories to one story again. And now I go to add modify grids. From there, I go to modify show story data. From there, I turn it. No, it's not a master story. And then everything will be changed to now. Then click on OK, click on OK again. Now everything is back to normal. Now if you look at the 3D view and if I show you like this, Okay. Okay. All right. Let me just give the extrude option. Okay. Now you can see that uh, these three floors are having the similar kind of geometry there. Now we can even see it better if we go to View, Show Rendered View. There you go. So. Yeah. Okay. So that's the entire geometry of the building. Okay, all right, so that was all for the uh, one story, similar story, and all stories. You just select all stories, no matter which story you're working on, all the stories are going to be edited simultaneously all together. Okay, all right, so yeah, that was it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you got some insight in you.